we made it to the stairs, so I and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Okay, so, we're gonna get right back into it. Um, let me just, let me just, I gotta make sure that, okay, camera's all good. Okay. Pick it up right where we left off. It's Kenny! <laughs> Katja and Duck, I bet, I bet she threw the whole fam, the whole fam, Oh. <laughs> Stop the Atlantic. Yep. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. It's got too bad. What we're supposed to do is not clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> Me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents, y'all might want to rethink your plan. Achievement unlocked, lend me your ears. Oh my gosh, is it really lagging? Are you freaking kidding me? Don't do that to me. Don't do that to my little heart. Don't. You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here. I know I promised that we'd find your parents. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. We're leaving. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. The Walking Dead. <laughs> Episode four, around every corner. Oh, oh, okay. So we just just started it at the end of an episode. Oh, that that was suspenseful. But we're gonna find out everything that happens right now. Um, sweet merciful death. Did you kill? Did you shoot the girl in the street? You have forty percent of players shot her. Okay, so it was fifty fifty left behind. You abandoned Lily. Yes, we did. It's, this is mean. You have 45% of players left here. Okay, so 50-50 again, kind of. Uh, stand up. Did you bite Kenny? You have 54%. <laughs> oh, boy. 54% <laughs> of players fought him. Uh, heavy burden. Did you shoot Duck? You and 81% of players shot him. Because, like, it's... I'm not gonna make Kenny do that. Um, a helping hand. Did you help Omid? You and 60% of players helped Omid. Yes. 
Okay. Cause he was hurt. Like I had, I had to, I had to do that. Um. Okay, we get to sit through the credits. This is lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely start the next episode in this uh, part of my let's play. So yeah, this is, we're only five minutes in right now. Um, but yeah, I love this game. Can we just talk about how iconic the first season of The Walking Dead game is? Like, just can we talk about it? Like, I just, I get, I just, I'm getting the feels. You know, I'm getting the feels right now. Um, yeah, I... Did I actually t I can't hear anything. <laughs> Did the audio go out? Okay. I can hear it again. Anyways, um... Yeah, I like the parts where it's, like... Because there's parts of the game where it's very, you know, calm. And I like that. It's a nice contrast to all the action and all the you know, different chaos going on, that there's actually calm moments in the game, you know, and it kind of balances it out. It's, it, it keeps you interested, because stuff happens when you least expect it in the game, and I, I like that. Oh my gosh, thank goodness the credits are almost through, because I can't keep talking. <laughs> okay, let's start episode four. Let's do this. Let's do this play. Uh, <laughs> okay. Episode four. Around every corner. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Previously, okay, good. Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Yeah, I made the right decision with leaving her behind. I don't know much about you, folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, if y'all keep going on like this, then that girl ends up dead. What do we do? Give me the good care. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. We need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! That is so creepy. I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Okay. Ready for another cutscene and then some gameplay. I love playing this on the Xbox. Can I talk about how cool Xboxes are? I, I never got into playing an Xbox before, and now I'm just, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on it. I love it. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored how you play. Telltale Games presents an association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead.
everything's clenching right now. <laughs> I don't trust this. Episode 4, around every corner. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. I told you I didn't trust this. Everybody, run! You get a shovel? I was gonna do some play. I was gonna say, you get a shovel and you get a shovel. <laughs> the dude was hitting the. Okay, okay, I I am. I am right there. A little too close, don't you think? No, Ben, help her! Oh, you butthole! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at these. Okay, is there any? Is there any other? Okay. No! Oh yeah! <laughs> Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go. Now! I'll be fine. Just go! Get the door. Achieve a lot. George's first city arrived in Savannah. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta 
get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Well, work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Okay, Clementine, you should be that close to the gate. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. <laughs> don't think this is quite the same, Grim. Yeah, right. This time we're the cookies. <laughs> Just stay away from the gate. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside, now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Just a doghouse. Looks like something was buried here. Okay. Let's talk to Ben. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. the interest but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house you think maybe someone's still inside nah we'd have heard from him by now all the racket we're making but whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it nice place to hole up we can just figure out how to get in how's it coming find a way in yet doors locked up tight too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise maybe there's a better way in well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Okay. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right, so where's the dog? Oh, this is <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, this is looks <laughs> like something was buried here. Okay, we got a shovel. I'm on need a shovel. Hey, buddy. Okay, 
Let's look around. Look over there. <laughs> okay. I think there's supposed to be a shovel somewhere. And I'm not seeing one. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, I just missed the that one, didn't I? Oh yeah. You see that one, dude? He's just smacking zombies with it. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hear you. Hey, what's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Chris and Obi, okay? But I want to- Just do what I say, okay? Oh no, I didn't want- <laughs> I just didn't want her to see that. Like it's it's very traumatizing. Oh god, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Oh, okay, that is not geez. cool. Okay. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're? I said I'm fine. Okay. Okay. I want to talk to Clementine. I feel bad. Will we be <clears throat> inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Oh, I feel bad for hurting her feelings. Okay. That's uh Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clem, are you okay? Say something. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. It's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? 
much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with people. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. The place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Krista and Omi need anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> okay, I'll, let's see if there's anything in the kitchen. All empty. Cleaned out. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. <laughs> oh no, I meant the. I meant look at it. Look at it. No, no. I don't know if it could Hope be. We never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I don't know if we could use like the bag or something. Okay, let's look at the clock. Beautiful. Stop working a while ago. Um, let's look at the table. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. How's it coming? Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Oh, I didn't know if anybody else wanted so okay. Uh okay. Not gonna talk to anybody yet. Um I kinda wanna just look around. I wanna explore. I wanna be of mercy exactly my style in the game. Okay, let's open. Nothing hiding in here. I mean, there could be something in the toilet, but we we don't know. Storage. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Whew. Like, I know that I should be like, oh. Oh, wait, no. That's, those are the cabinets and stuff. Uh. Definitely got a lot of boards and stuff that's useful. Jesus. What? 
Nope, what it's happened? just a broom. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell her. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and if they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Okay. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Damn it. This could have been clear time if I hadn't found him when I did. We should bury him. I'll take care of it.
Okay, I didn't know if he was gonna say anything. Oh, why? Why did the camera go over there? Oh my gosh. Someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Jimmy? I'm fine. Just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. As soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then, hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, man, you'll only slow us down. <laughs> Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omi. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey. I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? I'm worried about Omi. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. Oh, he's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Is going on. I have no idea. Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find who.
whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Just keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... still be salvageable. See all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode here. So don't forget I have to go, but until then, smooth sailing to you and your pirate crew. <laughs>